So what is ExpressJS middleware and to what extent is it relevant to your Express server? So let's just make a quick conceptual example. Then I'll show you the code and I think from then onwards, it should be clear. Okay, so let's say you have some incoming request to your web server. And what your Express server does is it takes like this incoming request and it routes it somewhere, right? So say you make a get request to slash, then you execute a few lines of code. And if you make a get request to some other route, like say get user, then you execute like different code, right? That's the whole idea of like a RESTful API. And I want you to imagine the following scenario. Let's say we want to have some sort of request logger, right? So for every request that comes in, we want to log that this particular endpoint was called. Okay, so every time like get uh, slash is called, we want to console log it. And every time get slash user is called, we want to console log it, right? It's good. just interesting if you look at the logs and you can see, okay, which endpoint is called all the time? Are there maybe any issues uh, with that one? And there's multiple ways on how you can do that. So for one, you can just put like a console log inside of this quest handler here or inside of both request handlers, and that would work. But obviously, if your code base gets bigger and you have hundreds of routes, like that's not really an option. And that is exactly where the middleware comes in. So the middleware is something that sits somewhere in this request routing chain, so to say, uh, that does something specific and then passes the control on to the next uh, logic. So how would that work? You would basically have your incoming request it goes to your server and before you do anything, you log like the request and once you're done logging the request, then you do the actual routing like before within your express server. And that has the advantage that no matter how many routes you have, you would always have like this request logger. And this is the principle of a middleware. So a middleware is something that sits in between your server and the actual business logic that is executed. So typically it's related to logging, but it can also be related to security. So for example, you might want to check whether someone is logged in before you actually attempt to execute or be, before you actually attempt to uh, run a particular piece of code, right? And uh, yeah, I think from that perspective, it should be fairly clear. Now let's see how this works in code. So I have a really simple express app here. Just ignore the commented out section. And what this does is it has the, the two routes that I have just mentioned. So get slash and it also has get slash user. And uh, we're just going to run with this uh, request logger example, but it could be anything, right? But request logging is like the simplest thing. Okay, so all these routes, like they log out the location. So the URL in the first case, it's slash. And in the second case, it's uh, slash user. And then they just return like something. Yeah, and then I have like the server and it starts on port 8080 and it runs. And as you can see, it's already running over here. So let's see what this thing does. If I go to uh, localhost port 8080 and wait, let's go back and let's maybe restart it. So we have like clear start, oops. Okay, so this is like the server, it's running, right? This is like the console log. Now let's go to uh, this one and let's just hit it. So I'm just going to do it with the browser. You can also do it with Postman. Now if you now go back, you can see, okay, it printed out location slash. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do something else. Let's go to slash user. Bam, now you can see, okay, it printed out user and it should now have also console log slash user. Now, this works, but as I said, you would need to put that in every single route handler. And the purpose of a middleware is if you have some common functionality that is all your route handler have or a particular subset of your route handler have, then you can extract that in the middleware. So what you can do is you can just say, okay, uh, let, let me cut this so I can explain it. Uh, let's create like a middleware. So before anything is even handled, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to make a new middleware and then you can do that with app.use and it has like the following signature it has like the request object the response and next so as you can see it's the exact same syntax or like the exact same parameters as here and here you can then say console log request oops 
request.url. Okay, so let's just log it out like this. And what this does is every request that comes in is first going to run through this middleware. And then it's going to log like the URL with which it was called. And now what we have to do is we have to say, okay, please pass on the control to the next route handler. And that is where we call this next function. So next says, okay, now go and execute the remaining handlers, like pass on the control to the next handler in the chain. And this one is important. So if next does not have like a parameter, then it's like the normal case. So no error has happened. Now, if you had like any error, you would actually pass an object. And that's how Express knows that an error has happened. But that is like a different topic. So next says pass on the control. And we can now try this out. So maybe uh, maybe just do it like this. Right. So now we have our middleware running. And let's see, okay, server running on port 8080. Let's go back to our thing over here. And now I'm going to hit it. And now you can see, okay, it now printed like this URL. So this console log came from this middleware. And uh, then it printed like the this console log. Right. So in principle, if we now wanted to do request logging, we could just remove this and remove this. And now we have moved this functionality to this middleware over here. Okay. So if I now restart this and hit it again, then you can see, okay, now we only have one output for slash user. And the interesting thing, or the most important thing to notice here is that it matters a lot where you plug in this middleware. Since we have plugged in this middleware directly after we create the application, it runs for all the route of, it runs for all subsequent routes. So once the request makes it in here or for everything, like if we were to add like a new route in here, it would also run for this. Now, if you take this and cut it and paste it in here, what this would mean is that if you call slash, you would not get anything. Just going to demonstrate that. Okay. You can see no log message, but if you hit slash user, then you would actually get uh, a log output. And this is the important thing to understand. So it matters a lot where the middleware is actually located. Yeah. And middleware is like the most fundamental concept of Express. So if you understand middleware, you have basically understood uh, Express. And in Express, pretty much everything is like a middleware. And you can also compose routers and, you know, Literally everything you do is like based on middleware and based on exactly uh, these three par parameters, like the request, the response and next. Cool. Yeah. So that's it. As far as middleware is concerned, I hope this explanation was clear. Bear in mind that of course you can do other things apart from uh, request logging, right? You could, for example, check uh, is the user logged in or um, what could, what else could you do? You could check for course, right? also a very common use case so a lot of different options the uh, possibilities here are endless more or less so you can do whatever you want here and yeah i hope this explanation was clear and let me know what you think about this in the comments below if you have a question uh you can also send me a tweet so my twitter handle is at production coder so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next video bye bye